Chapter 6, Treatment. Now that the treatment has begun, the control unit will cycle between three phases, monitoring, draining, and irrigating. Keep in mind, the irrigation cycle will take one second. The ICP monitoring cycle will take nine seconds, and the rest of the cycle time will be applied to the drainage cycle. Adjusting treatment settings. During the course of treatment, based on your patient's evolving condition, the treatment settings may need to be adjusted to achieve desired results. To change the ICP measurement settings during treatment, press the ICP display. This will bring up your current treatment settings and will allow you to adjust them based on your new physician orders. Confirm that your treatment settings are correct and press the apply button on the screen. Changing therapy. During the course of treatment, based on the patient's evolving condition, the treatment option may need to be changed. The control unit can be placed into a drain only mode or a monitor only mode. This will allow you to challenge a patient at the end of treatment or operate the system without any irrigation. To place the control unit into drain only or monitor only mode, press the settings menu on the touch screen. Select the procedure option. Based off your physician orders, select your new treatment. Confirm that you have selected the correct treatment and settings per physician orders and press the apply button on the screen. Hourly checks. At the top of every hour, the airflow control unit will stop delivering treatment for one minute to accurately measure ICP. During this time, the ICP waveform display will appear, allowing the user to assess the current ICP waveform. To assess the ICP measurement from the top of the hour, go to the settings menu and select the treatment history option. For a quick overview of your patient's treatment history, press the treatment icon. This will display 12 hours worth of treatment history. Net output. To determine the patient's hourly net output, assess the patient's total drainage volume by measuring the fluid in the barotrol of the drainage bag. Then, assess the total amount of irrigation volume that has been delivered and calculate the difference. Pause treatment. There may be periods during treatment in which you want to pause treatment. Press the start stop button on the control unit for approximately three seconds to stop treatment. During this time, the system will be clamped by the intelligent digital cassette. To resume treatment, ensure that the control unit is level to the patient and press the start stop button. Transport. Pause treatment. Clamp off tubing. Removing intelligent digital cassette. Take the irrigation fluid, digital cassette, and drainage bag from the Aeroflow system, ensuring the cassette stays safe and dry. Place it in the patient's lap or in a secure location during transport. Once returning from transport, reset up the control unit. Prior to resuming treatment, ensure that all roller clamps are open. Please refer to the setup tutorial to ensure correct setup after transport. Once treatment is complete, press the stop button. Make sure all the roller clamps are tightened and take the cassette out of the control unit. To do so, first open the cassette door, then lift the cassette lever and remove the cassette. Lastly, press the power button. You have now successfully turned off the airflow control unit. Transferring treatment. After completion of the treatment, a log file containing events and the ICP trends can be extracted to a USB storage device. To complete this process, connect the USB dongle to the multifunction port located on the lower back of the Aeroflow control unit. Insert your USB into the USB dongle. If the USB is not inserted correctly, you will receive a USB drive not found error message. Select the settings menu and then select the export to USB option. 
Once the export to USB option is selected, the system will start transmitting treatment data to the USB drive. Once it is complete, the system will indicate that the information has been transferred. Thank you for watching the Aeroflow System educational training videos. If you have additional questions, please reference the Aeroflow instructions for use, download the Eris Academy app, or contact your Eris sales professional.